Hey everybody, Seven here, and thank you so much for joining me in episode 7 of Planet Crafter. So we have a lot of work to do. We've got a baseline started here, we've got eggplants going, onions, well, onions, wow, squash, and we have our one tiny little mushroom, I'm going to harvest this guy up just to make sure that he's growing. So I'm going to need the tier 2 extractor, like that just has to happen. And I think it's locked behind pressure. Now the problem is getting better, no, that's energy. Now the problem is getting more pressure is going to require drills, but the good drills that I have also require osmium. So what I'm thinking is get out there, get as much loose osmium off the floor as I possibly can, get the drills moving as hard as I can, and then we'll see if we can finally get some of those buildings that I really wanted. This might have some big leaps and cuts in it because I have a feeling that I'm going to be just crafting a lot of low-level stuff and just cutting out the boring parts. Alright, let's go. Although before I get started on all of that action, there was still one more experiment that I have neglected to run here. So I did want to... I'd already tested to see if Osmium could get picked up by the Tier 1 extractor, and it unfortunately cannot. But now I'm going to run and see if the tier 1 can at least pick up the super alloy because that would at least alleviate quite a few other headaches that could be getting in the way of our uh, terraformation. So I'm coming out here to the super alloy area with the last two osmium that I have in my possession and I'm going to put down an extractor and just check it just in hopes that it'll give me super. We'll see. So anywhere in here should do. Alright, what you got? Nuts. Alright, so we are definitely beholden to getting the improved uh, extractor then. Now, I do have a couple of rockets I could use. I don't remember if the pressure rocket is the iridium rocket or the uranium rocket. It's funny, I, I never really looked at the rockets as for what what stat they increase. I, I usually looked at the first couple of rockets as, you know, what what alloy or uh, what resource do they call down. So maybe that could be the mission for the day, is uh, maybe get another two or so of the, the big, big drills over here, and then just really go berserk on the space program. But I definitely want this. And that's going to be a lot of algae. I've got two growers going right now, but nah, there's only so much they'll be able to do. In fact, let's check these guys, just to see what they got, if anything. Eh, just a little bit. Anyway, let's go get some osmium and let's see if we can get some drills going. Alright, so here we are back in the osmium-iridium combo cave. Oh look, there's a little bit left. I don't expect to be able to get a whole ton out of here, but maybe just enough for a little bit of extra drillage. And of course, snagging a little bit of extra iridium and sulfur isn't going to hurt either. Well, there's a lot more here than I thought there was. I brought a tank with me, but I'm trying to avoid using it, if at all possible. Try to save that for more emergency situations. Oh, what? Um, okay. Hey, a free bioplastic, too. I'll take that action. <laughs> Although that does mean now that we have two spaces open when we had several more, but there's a good chunk of stuff in there. I didn't get a great look at it, but there's right, so still a good haul of osmium, really good haul of iridium, not that we particularly needed it, but and we got some bioplastic, which that might be enough for one more algae. I'll have to check when we get home. <laughs> I'm also trying to get myself not into a, a false sense of security because it's, you know, out of the woods, maybe, kind of, sort of, but, you know, still trying to not get overly confident and cocky because this is still a hardcore playthrough where when you die, it doesn't just kill you, it completely deletes the entire save and the entire world. So, really, really, really trying to avoid that. Ooh, we are definitely running low on the super. I am not really keen on the idea of going out and just trying to harvest it up off the ground. We've got enough for three of these, so let's let's slap down three of those guys, and then we'll um, we'll get into the pressure. 
because I did get a good chunk of osmium out of that. Alright, that's looking a lot better. So it just occurred to me that a whole mess of super needs to go into the higher level drills, not just the osmium. I don't really have access to a whole lot of super right now. Could go out to the sand falls. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea because I'm certain I probably only got like, I don't know, maybe half of what's there. I'm thinking making a whole bunch of it would also really be helpful. And this thing is now on iron mode. We gotta tear that down, rebuild it. But I did see a really good chunk of aluminum in there, so... We'll see how much super we can actually make out of this, and then... Maybe we'll head out to uh, the sulfur area and the sand, sand falls. Another thing I should look at is, I'm not sure if I'm on the top tier of oxygen tank and the boots. I should be at max level backpack right now though. Okay, so through all the aluminum that we had found and harvested, we were able to make quite a bit of super here. Um, but we are now pretty low on aluminum and we're completely out of titanium. So we're gonna need to go scarf up just a bunch of garbage resources now. Yeah, we only got three here and the titanium is actually full of iron instead of actual titanium because the iron is, well, full. Alright, so this is definitely something we need because it just dawned on me that we also have access to some of the uh, the GPS rockets. Let's get one of these made up. Get that slapped into the belt. Alright, so we've got okay, okay super. We've got a great amount of osmium. Let me see just how many of these uh, drills I can put down and then we'll get back to you. Well, it's looking like two. Uh, two is all that I had the super for, so... And we're also out of osmium for drills, or for uh, picking up off the floor. Oh neat, I just realized these rotate. Oh wow, do they all rotate? Huh. Oh wait, the mushrooms don't. Oh wait, do they only rotate when they're growing? Oh, okay, yeah, so the fully grown ones will stop. Huh, that's really interesting actually. That's cool. Alright, so a fat lot of good that compass is doing us without, you know, having the, the GPS rocket and a map screen and etc. So, let's see what we gotta do to get these things moving. Oh, we gotta make more- oh, right, forgot all about that part. Just like when you were starting out, aluminum makes the world go round, now it's super makes the world go round. Oh, and right, we need at least two super for those to go up too. I'm not really sure how much super we've got left. Right. Alright, let's uh, grab a little something to eat here and then we'll run out and try to see what we can get up off the floor. Like I said, there should be about half of the sand falls uh, should be untouched, I think. Oh, another thing that I gotta do is, I was told there's actually a gold chest out here in the Iridium Cave. Now, a lot of the gold chests I've already known about, but that one was a surprise to me, so I've definitely got to, at some point today, try to take a look around and see if I can track that thing down. Alright, so we should have a box just about dead center of uh, the Sandfalls area, from about the midpoint to the right. Oh, wait! There is another, uh, there's an Osmium Cave right in here! So the Osmium Cave that's just off the Sulfur, I don't think I've fully you know, stripped off of everything that's on the ground. What in the world? Oh, I can actually see it. Or at least I saw it. I saw it for a second. Ah, uh, there we are. Let me hit this first, then we'll get super. If I remember correctly, there should be a chest back here, too. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Oh, more bioplastic. A mushroom seed. Oh, happy days are here again. Now let's go take a breath and then we'll uh, just pick up whatever super we can. This is likely going to be a, a two-trip kind of a thing anyway, even without finding that super awesome chest. Oh, and a free fertilizer. Oh, and a blueprint too. Hey, we uh, we scored pretty hard on this trip. It's always so sketchy to me, just walking around deliberately in a place that you can't see, that you're, you know, blinded by, and then there's a natural curvature arc to it, too, so it's easy to get kind of spun. So if you don't have, like, a good sense of orientation, 
when it comes time to leave, you know, when your oxygen runs low, which it is right now, actually, then it's easy to get, you know, it's just easy to get disoriented in there. <laughs> I'm currently playing two games where it's very easy to get disoriented, and getting disoriented can kill you. I wonder if that says something about me. Oh, really? Full? With one left? I'm pretty sure that's the last one, too. I think I... I yeah, this place is kicked. Alright, so we are going home with our pockets absolutely lined. A ton more osmium. A little bit of super. Didn't get any of that titanium that I needed, but that's fine. I mean, that's that's a garbage resource. You can pick that up off of anywhere. I'm curious if it's um if it's just the tier one extractor guy that's that's bugged out, or if all of them are. Like, do the tier twos remember what they were supposed to be getting? I know the super super crazy one. You know that that picks up only what you program it to, which is kind of wild. So I would imagine that that one, that one should stay, right? And then we'll uh, we'll get another food grower going, and just I'll just cycle things around just so that it makes sense and looks proper. Well, here goes the last aluminum. That's fine. The uh, the thing is actually fixed, so it should be okay. I do kind of want to move some of this around a little bit better. Now nah, whatever. I'll wait until the mushrooms are grown, and then we'll we'll fix it. Four eggplant. Four squash. Two mushroom. Certainly not any of it that we need for actual food food, but it's going to be a good chunk that we can use for our crafting purposes, and that's what's most important. I've also just been, you know, well, not talking and not, you know, doing anything. I've been stockpiling some of these things over here. Just because, you know, that's going to be a little bit boring. Well, we've got ourselves another microchip, so let's hit that thing up. Oh, the map information rocket. That is very helpful, actually. I was actually in that screen looking for when I can get the outside farm. I don't think it's actually on that one, though. You tell me when I can have it. Oh, the tier two, okay. Boy, we're gonna need a whole lot of more biomass moving. That's all later stuff, though. Oh my, okay, never mind. <laughs> Well, that's 100% not happening in this episode. <laughs> it's just since, like I said, I'm, I'm going to definitely hit a, a stage where my guy would be perfectly comfortable being able to just stare at the screen. He'll have enough food, he'll have enough water, he could just sit around and, and do nothing. That's just not how I want to run this, though. Um, I should have enough for one more big drill. Because getting the Tier 2 extractor, that's just such a priority. Like, it, it really just opens up it opens up the, the doors, it opens up the whole game to you. It, it completely changes the way that you can run your base and, and run your operation here. It's the biggest, fastest moving number I have, but not moving nearly as fast as I need it to. <laughs> it's funny, playing playing in the hardcore, it's got me just default in the habit of always have one of each. Actually, we got enough for another one. Although, maybe we should wait on that and call down a couple of pressure rockets. Didn't I have some spare rock? I did, right here. All right, let's, uh, let's hit two pressure rockets. I'd like to get the, the map rocket, but it's not as big of a priority to me. I mean, I have the map, not exactly memorized, but pretty confident. I mean, aside from the caves that are easily spun around in. You know, I've, I've got the rest of the map pretty well down. The uranium rocket is the... okay. Well, that's a big fat bummer. Because we need... <laughs> we need iridium like we need a hole in the head, but... oh well. Now, the game doesn't really kind of... It doesn't really push you into single-mindedly focusing on things the way I have. Like, I bum-rushed the oxygen for a while, and I'm, you know full all-in on pressure right now, so it doesn't really suggest to you to do that, but, oh boy, that one's going to go wonky. <laughs> Gotta love that part. Um, if anything, it actually suggests more to balance out your your attack plan, which realistically, especially if you're, you're a first-time player, that's probably the best way to do it, because you're also, as a first-time player, not going to be playing on 
you know, insane nightmare mode like I am, where, you know, everything is a complete disaster and you're constantly just seconds from death at all times. I'm doing it because I know that at this level of oxygen, I have access to this item. At this level of pressure, I have access to that item. You know, so, and I, and I know already that certain items are more valuable or more useful than others. All right, now we're looking at for pressure. Oh, look at those numbers go. All right, so let's, maybe let's work on the goal that we actually had for the last episode here, because we might be able to get this one going now. I'm pretty sure we can, actually. But I've got one free fertilizer, which, that was a big help. Yeah, so two bacteria, we've already got that. Two fertilizer, we already got that. We're drowning in sulfur right now. Or no, uh, one fertilizer we've got. All right, so let's blam out another fertilizer here. Who could've want? <laughs> I was gonna wait until this one grew so that I could move it. So that it wasn't annoying me that it was all weird and out of order like that, but yeah, whatever. That's fine. All right, so there's our two fertilizer and the two bacteria that we need. Now it's just a matter of a super and a sulfur, which I think I saved a little bit of super, not much. Yeah. Now where does this thing attach off to? Because I would absolutely love to kick it over that way, like over the water, if at all possible. It's time for a little bit of actual, you know, aesthetic creativity here. Alright, so first off, let me see if I can actually put the thing where I want to put the thing. Okay, I am inside of it. Did not see that one coming. Alright, cool, that's actually... That's actually kind of how I wanted it. Alright, neat. Alright, so I'm just going to harvest up all that and we'll just, uh... Let's move the, the growers around. Oh crap, I'm stuck. Um... Get a F4 a little bit here. Oh, algae generator tier 2. Well, <laughs> isn't that fun. Unlikely that I'm going to build that, because I think the materials on that are probably going to be a little more than I can handle. Yeah. The tier 1s require the super as well. I mean, maybe if I tore down a bunch of them. thing is, until I get reliable super alloy um, income, not really a lot that I can do with the amount of algae that's out there. Like, I just don't need more. I don't need more than what's here. At least not yet, anyway. Let's uh let's do some reorganization here. All right, so everything's put down, looking good. Let's get everything replanted. Alrighty, it's looking better, and we now have access to our biodome tier two. Not that we have any actual function or use for it yet, because that is light years away, but it's kicking the biomass up. One thing at a time. Hey, at least we got that building that we wanted. Alright, well now it seems as good a time as any to uh, go check the aluminum mine. Oh, right, iridium. <laughs> I uh, completely forgot that I even asked for you. I mean, totally, totally don't need it, but... That's fine. We'll we'll take a whole bunch of iridium first, then we'll go out to uh, out to the aluminum mine. It's funny how just absurdly critical iridium is in in your first setup because I think that's like basically one of the tutorial missions is go make a heater, and it's like well, how how exactly am I supposed to make a heater when I can't even you know especially when you're, when you're first starting out and first playing. I don't even know what this stuff looks like. I've never even seen it. I've seen the iron, I've seen the silicon, I've seen this and that, but... I've never even seen this red stuff. Played that one a little close there, didn't you? Exactly what I was trying to avoid. Don't get cocky because you're, you know... Starting to get kind of successful out here. You are still playing on nightmare mode. I, uh... I'm gonna spare you the sound that I'm about to make. <laughs> Every time I think I'm done, I'm like, oh, look, there's more. Even though I completely don't really need it, you know, the, the loot goblin in me is just compelled to pick it all up. Never mind that uh, aluminum is actually worth more to me than iridium right now. Okay, that's five super worth. Oh, and some uh, silicon titanium in, like, 
like that action. You know, we really do got to get the, uh, not the recycler, but the, the other one, the deconstructor there, the shredder. We got to get that going. Whoops. That's my air. Don't put air in a cupboard. Well, I suppose I can probably start the work on converting a few of these while I'm at it. Yeah, no, low power. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're fine. Like, we are so ridiculously fine on power. Although, we are a little bit on the low side on, uh, uranium here, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So let's blow the last of our uranium on making more rockets. And then we'll just burn all of our aluminum into making more super. And then we'll just bring down a whole bunch of uh, uranium. Now, there's a heck of a storm going on out here that was not my doing. And from the looks of it, it's looking like it's a bunch of just generic meh. Generic meh is going to come with titanium. So, silver linings, I guess. Oh, you gave me aluminum? Alrighty, so not only did that impromptu shower come by with, you know, just stuff that I needed, most, most importantly titanium, and uh, gave me some cobalt, but it also gave me, um, you know, I've got the biomass one, that's cool. But, uh, this is the uranium one, right? Yeah, uranium. But, uh, it came down with not a lot of aluminum, but a couple. Like I said, right now, <laughs> aluminum is worth more than iridium. <laughs> Yay. To the moon! Okay, so what, what screen did you just give me? Biomass, right? I think it's one of the big ones, if I remember correctly. Um, where do you want to go? Uh, we could tear this guy down and rotate him slightly. Well, it's a little bit of clippiness, but I want to get that screen up and just, just see how it looks and how it hangs on that wall. Yeah, I like this. You know, just hanging status screens next to the front door. That's cool. Uh, let's tear this thing down and kick it a little bit to the left now, because we don't really need it to be... Like, it's a, it's a screen. It doesn't need that much room. Yeah. This looks perfect. I like that. And it gave you something to do while the uh, <laughs> little storm is raging outside. Alright, that's cool. It's not really beneficial in the here and now, but it is a, a future project item that we really, really do need. Good lord with the iridium. Like, just okay. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised it hasn't despawned yet. Although maybe because it's a higher, like a higher tier item, they'll give you more time to go get it. Are you serious with the iridium, though? Like, you've got to be joking. And I know there's no way that I screwed it up and called down, like, one of each. Because I didn't have the materials to call down one of each. I could only call down the uranium rockets, so... <laughs> Good lord. I'm just going to stick my head into this one. Because I think that there might be a, a handful of uh, loose... Uh, osmium in here. If I remember correctly, I think this is also the cave that connects up into the zeolite. Which, I mean, that's well beyond anything that we're going to be exploring today, but... Still something to note and be aware of. We are coming back with a pretty crazy amount of sulfur that I don't I don't exactly need, but I certainly won't say no to. Also just because, yeah, we have the sulfur extractor, but... It's, it's a walk. I'll walk all that way. I say that as I'm literally flying with a jetpack. Well, okay, maybe we went a little overboard in the sulfur pickups. Also, we went from four loose ones to, uh, a bit more than that. You know, what exactly does the shredder and recycler cost? Not just for energy, because I know they're, they're probably a little on the high side, but I'm more looking at, like, what do they cost for materials? All right. Well, I've also been back and forth talking about it, so let's uh, let's get both of these things down. Oh wait, the button. The thing is, you you do want to be mindful of where 
the chute is because it will like it can it can launch them a bit further than you would like it to but get both of these guys down and perfect oh and then you know what let's check the power too oh shoot can i re look like i can still reach that one yeah the house layout is a little squirrely the lockers are in terrible locations those stupid heaters are totally in the way but we'll we'll fix it Oh, 200? No, jeez. Yeah, we're, we're going to be fine on power for quite a while. What we're not going to be fine on is the super. Um, I ran out to the aluminum mine there, but I converted it all into super so I could get all of our shredder stuff going, but, well, that can't be helped. But at least I can do this. Goodbye, Iron. Anyway, guys, sorry for having such a no-adventure and kind of sticking around the house episode, but this was an episode of things that needed to get done. And we did at least get the building that I really, really had my eye on. That was just a big goal for me. But um, at least now we've got the pressure moving in some good ways, and we're going to be able to get some osmium coming in soon, and that's going to really just blow the doors off of everything. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me in episode 7 of Planet Crafter, and I hope to see you in the next one. The 7. Bye.